Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hello everyone and welcome to another great deck tech from Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we attempt to generate enough power to destroy our opponent in one fail swoop on turn 4 or 5. So how much power will this take you ask? Precisely 1.21 gigawatts. gigawatts. There are many ways this can be done, and yes, it can be difficult. But if we remain calm and stay focused, it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. It can be done. I've done it in playtesting. Will you please let me finish? But the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Exactly. Exactly. A bolt of lightning. We will be taking a bolt of lightning and multiplying the effect multiple times. Eight times to be exact. So how are we going to do this? There's three cards that make up this TKO combo. The first is Howl of the Horde. A sorcery for two and a red that will copy the next instant or sorcery spell you cast. It also has Raid that lets you copy the spell an additional time if a creature attacked this turn. Next we have Insult to Injury. It's a sorcery for two and a red that reads, Damage can't be prevented this turn. If a sorcery control would deal damage this turn, it deals double that damage instead. The Injury side has Aftermath, which means it can be cast from your graveyard. It reads, Injury deals 2 damage to target creature and 2 damage to target player or planeswalker. Finally, we have Lightning Bolt. It's an instant for 1 red that deals 3 damage to target creature or player. So if you do the math, after swinging in with a creature, you can cast Howl of the Horde to copy your next instant or sorcery spell 2 times. If Insult, that's the insult side of Insult to Injury, is your next instant or sorcery spell, then it will be copied two times. That means the original cast of Insult doubles the damage to your opponent. That resolves. Then the first copy doubles it again and makes it four times that damage. And then that resolves. And then the second copy doubles it yet again, making it eight times damage. So now, when you cast your Lightning Bolt, it will deliver eight times three damage, or... 24 points of damage to your opponent's face. So, how do you get this out on turn 4? To help us cast our spells for a little less, we have Goblin Electromancer. Additionally, we have Baral, Chief of Compliance. We have two copies of Invisible Stalker to help us trigger the raid on Howl of the Horde. To back up Lightning Bolt, we're playing Incendiary Flow. For card draw, we have Opt, Serum Visions, and Manamorphose. Since we may occasionally get behind, we're playing a couple copies of Anger of the Gods. Our lands include six islands, eight mountains, four steam vents, and four Sulfur Falls. In the sideboard, we have three Dispel to help dodge counter spells or instant removal. We have Dive Down if your opponent is playing a lot of heavy creature removal. We have Negate, Shatterstorm for artifact strategies, Tormod's Crypt for graveyard hate, and Pithing Needle because every once in a while Pithing Needle comes in really handy. And finally we have engineered explosives for additional board wipes. Well, thank you for watching. We here at Chuck Wagon MTG hope you enjoyed this deck tech. What the hell is it yeah. We established that. Right. So if you did, please hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification to see what's new. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets. Everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks again, and be sure to find us on Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. Now hang on tight for a word from the best gaming store in Michigan.
Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.